Happy New Year. I'm Brendan Howe and this is your TDC Net Tech Tip, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. A good place to start for the new year is the security of smartphones and tablets. If you're like me, you got a new one over the holidays. You're probably seeing a lot of your colleagues bringing in new devices into your office, connecting them to the network. Your company may even be buying them for some staff. Here's the challenge with that. By default, these devices do not have passwords set up on them. So when they get connected to your corporate email, there's, there's the ability to access confidential emails, files that are within that email calendar, contacts, that sort of thing. And if you don't set a password on that, or you don't force the users in your company to set passwords, then you're creating a, a new vulnerability to your network. So there's a, couple, uh, there's a couple different ways that you deal with this vulnerability and deal with the risk. Uh, the bottom line here is you don't want to open your company information or client information up to a risk if somebody loses their device, if it gets stolen, that sort of thing. So two things you can do. One is you can mandate users to set their own passwords on the devices, or you can set your, uh, your internal IT setup, your exchange server, to force those devices to have passwords if they're going to connect. I'm going to talk about both, uh, both options here. So number one, if you say to users, you need to set a password for, uh, for your device, very easy for them to do. On an iPad, for example, you just take the device, go into settings, you go under general, and you'll, you'll find a menu item called passcode lock. You click on that passcode lock, touch turn passcode on, and it's going to ask you to set a passcode. It'll ask you to re-enter that passcode, and then your passcode's set. The next time that uh, this device locks, which it's set to lock every couple minutes, next time it locks, for me to log back into it, I'm going to have to do my passcode. Now, it's going to be the same, same type of steps if you have an iPhone. You go into settings, and you set it up. This iPhone, for example, already has, has the passcode set on it. Uh, to make sure that my email and contacts and information are secure. Android devices have slightly different steps, but equally as easy. So if you've got your Android device, you're going to want to navigate to settings, and then on settings, scroll down until you get to security. Under security, you'll see something called screen lock. Just click the password, you'll enter your new password in, and then save it. Uh, or you'll click continue, it'll ask you to confirm it, uh, and then you'll save it, and then your device will be protected. For Blackberries, same sort of thing, you go into options, security options, general settings, change the password field to enabled, and click save. You'll need to type your new password, click enter, and then verify it. Now, the problem with this approach is that you're relying on users to secure your network instead of having to control yourself. Our preferred option, what we recommend, is option number two, which is, which is using your exchange server, using the infrastructure that you have in place to force devices to have passwords. So you can put a setting into your exchange server to force a device to have a password before it will be able to access your, your work email. So if somebody brings in a new iPad and they want to set it up, or an Android device, or a Blackberry, or, or that sort of thing, and they want to access your exchange server, they can't do it unless there's a, a password set on that device, preventing anybody from picking up that device and, and looking at looking through email. So as with every part of security, the biggest vulnerability is always with users. So it's important to educate your colleagues and make sure that they understand what their responsibilities are in terms of keeping your network safe. So that's it for your Happy New Year TDC Net Tech Tip, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. It's going to be a great year this year. Got lots of tech tips on the way, lots of suggestions for you on how you can improve your business, become much more efficient, and use technology better. But that's it for now. I'm Brendan Howe. Have a great day.